But now, our exclusive interview with Michael Jackson, who turns 50 today. Our correspondent for all things cultural, Chris Conley, spoke to the pop icon on the phone about the ups and downs of his life, career, his future. And Chris, I hear it was a surprising conversation. Do tell. Yeah, kind of surreal to be actually talking to Michael Jackson, especially over the phone in a voice that faded in and out like an old radio station when you're driving in a car somewhere. He said he'd take questions about his career, and so that's what we talked about, that and turning the big 5-0. Still one of the biggest stars in the world and one of the most private. On the eve of his 50th birthday, Michael Jackson gave us a rare interview. How do you plan to celebrate your 50th birthday? Oh, I'll just come to the with my children and just probably watch some cartoons. Facing a personal milestone that finds many people looking back, Jackson is focused on the future, which he thinks is brighter than ever. As you look back on your career, Michael, what would you have done differently? You're uh, looking forward to doing a lot of great things, but that's how I think the best is yet to come, in my true humble opinion. Well, that would take some doing. Consider the electrifying start of his career in 1969 as the 11-year-old frontman for the Jackson 5, serving up the catchiest tunes in Motown history with singing and dancing skills that seemed almost unearthly. Who did you start listening to to, to get your kind of um, singing style? James Brown. Some four decades later, seems his tastes haven't changed that much. I'm just watching a little, you know, James Brown show right now. Is that right? I love James Brown, yes. As successful as he was with his brothers in the Jackson 5, Michael's career and his subsequent celebrity exploded when he went solo, leading to, he says, the best days of his life. As you look back on 50 years in your career, at what point in your career do you think you were the happiest? Happiest. The recording of the thriller and the off the wall that meant very much to me, and, um, and seeing it received so beautifully by the, the public and the world, you know, I enjoyed it very much. While Off the Wall was a huge debut, Thriller would become the biggest success in music business history and redefine the landscape of pop. It sold, by some estimates, as many as 100 million copies worldwide. It was like every household in America, maybe every household worldwide had to have a copy of Thriller. Um, kids wanted to dress like him, dance like him, be him. Thriller spawned mega hits like Billie Jean. And beat it. With videos that at MTV and elsewhere kicked down the doors separating black and white artists. By the mid-80s, Jackson was every inch the thriller, his every appearance setting off a frenzy of fan adulation, his every performance a jaw-dropping marvel, like when he first busted out the moonwalk. And he might as well have walked out and, and flown off the stage because it, it, it truly, it's one of those things that isn't hyped up, even when you watch it now, it's just astonishing. It's one of the greatest televised performances of all time by anyone. Decades later, it's fair to wonder, can Michael Jackson still do all that at the age of 50? Oh, yes, he can, he says. Yes, because I'm, I'm, I'm expanding a lot of the avenues. People, people see some of the things I do, and they, and they say, why don't you show this to the world? People don't know you do these things, and maybe I will. His difficulties have been well documented, but through it all, Jackson's music retains its hold on legions of fans and on a new generation that has clearly felt his influence, like budding teen star Chris Brown. Me personally, I've been a fan of his since I was younger, so me being able to listen to him and, you know what I'm saying, actually be inspired by his dancing as well as his music, like, actually drives me to be more creative. Jackson says he's a fan, too. Some of the younger, newer artists, like, oh, I think Chris Brown's doing wonderful and Timberlake, and I, I really admire what they're doing. Is there anything you sacrificed by having this amazing career, 40 years and counting? A lot, a lot of hard work, sacrificing your time and your schedule and your childhood, you know, it's uh, giving up your life for the medium. Jackson says he wants to give his kids the kind of childhood he never had. 
Would you like them to have the same kind of upbringing you did in terms of getting into show business at an early age? Or do you want to say to them, whoa, take a moment, enjoy your childhood? I'm letting them enjoy their childhood as much as possible. I really do. I let them go to the arcade and get out and see and go to the movies and do things. So I, I, I think that comes naturally. You know, I, I want them to get to do the things I didn't get to do. It must mean a lot to you to, for your kids to be able to do the kinds of things that you weren't able to do, huh? Yeah, I get pretty emotional when I see them having a wonderful time where they're on a ride and they're screaming and they're happy and they're running and it, it makes me emotional. I'm a man, a man, Still, Jackson remains the most elusive pop star of his time. Elusive enough to have avoided the one organization that seems to track down everyone his age. You know, when most people turn 50, the AARP finds them and sends them an AARP card. Have you gotten an AARP card in the mail? Not that I know of. You never know, they can find you wherever you are. I'm sure he'll be getting a call very soon there, Chris. <laughs> I know you were able to ask him um, some other questions that we weren't able to share with, with people, but you, you did ask him uh, like, who he would want to celebrate his birthday with, even people that are no longer with us? Yeah, we asked sort of if you could have anybody here to share this milestone who was not around anymore, who would they be? And he listed three names, Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, and James Brown. Uh -oh. Three huge influences on his life, obviously. Yeah, I knew James Brown was going to be on that list. Hey, Chris, Absolutely. thanks a lot. Have a good holiday you, weekend. Robin. All right, thanks. For more on uh, uh, Chris's interview with Michael Jackson, you can go to our website at abcnews.com.